Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Richard's Fabulous Friday Hymns. While we're all in quarantine due to the coronavirus, I'll be sharing with you every single Friday one of my favorite hymns. And this week's choice is Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, which was written to the tune of Hephrodel. And the scripture basis for this reading is the epistle reading that's appointed for this week for the third Sunday of Easter. And it is the first letter of Peter, first chapter, verses 17 through 23. If you invoke as father the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the feudal ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now that you have purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. As I mentioned, the tune for this week's choice is Hifridol, and Hifridol is a rather well-known hymn tune. It was written by Roland Pritchard back in 1830, who was an amateur musician and choir director, but his day job was as a textile worker and later in his life as a loom tender's assistant. In 1844, he published a number of hymn tunes in a collection called The Singer's Friend, which was a songbook for children. Hifferdol is the tune that's most associated with him, and the tune has been used for a number of texts, including today's Alleluia Sing to Jesus, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, and probably the text that's most often married with this tune, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. The text of today's choice is written by William Chatterton Dix, William Chatterton Dix, I'm sorry, D-I-X, William Chatterton Dix, and he was a Welsh maritime insurance broker and poet. Dix faced a lot of challenges as he grew up due to his father. His father, while being a doctor, was also an alcoholic, and he eventually wound up losing his practice due to his alcoholism. In addition, being imprisoned for a number of unpaid debts. At the age of eight, Dix's father left the family, abandoned them behind, and went to the United States to work. Yet another item that brought shame upon the family by the father, when it was discovered that a biography that his father had written of poet Thomas Chatterton was discovered to be a fraud. Dix, however, became a successful insurance broker, married at the age of 27, and began showing his interest in poetry shortly after his marriage. However, a number of his hymn texts were written during the lowest periods of his life, such as in 1866 when he was bedridden due to a near-fatal illness. He experienced a tremendous amount of depression at that particular time, but also wrote a number of hymn texts, including this one at that time, that have become very well known and often used, such as To Thee, O Lord, Our Hearts We Raise, the Epiphany Hymn, As With Gladness, Men of Old, and the Christmas Hymn, What Child Is This? Alleluia, sing to Jesus.
hoping you will come back again next Friday for another fabulous Friday hymn.